Hey guys, today we are creating the Rainbow Six Siege map, Shali, in this beautiful snowball. And it isn't leaky at all. These are my weapons for today. Welcome to this crazy project because we try to recreate, we try to build this Rainbow Six Siege map. It is Chalet, it's a very beautiful map. Ubisoft presented some blueprints on the web page. For example, you can see all the different levels of the Chalet itself, and it makes it pretty convenient to make it out of clay. It is as if the blueprints were made for this purpose. <laughs> Though I noticed they are not 100% accurate. They changed the maps from time to time and probably it didn't really make sense to change the blueprints on the web page <laughs> for every garbage can which was moved, for example. Let's start with the basement of the chalet and I decided to make the height one centimeter for each level of the chalet, which makes it very easy to understand how the whole architecture has to be rebuilt with clay. Now we can arrange these slices of clay and all we have to do is cut out this blueprint which isn't even our blueprint. Ubisoft is really doing the work here. I'm quite happy to announce that this video is another collaboration with the YouTube channel GTV. So if you want to see this video with my German voiceover, go check it out. I'll link it right here. Now, next floor that we finished the basement, we go up and we create the ground floor. The basement was surrounded by snow in some parts, but the ground floor is somehow free to all sides. And now that we put this together, we can use our blueprint again and make another updated model for the next floor, which is the first floor. And we switch from gray to brown clay, because now that we finished the stone walls, we switch over to wood. Yes, try to get a very smooth surface and cutting it out again one more time. I think first floor is the floor with the gambling room, the trophy room. We place this on top. Perfect, now we have to face the roof as the final level of the chalet. And this is pretty simple to create but we have different colors later on the covering. We have brighter and darker roof tiles. But let's finish the wooden structure underneath first. To make it really look like wood, I made some imprints and to pretend that these are some wooden planks. Now for the masonry, we also try to use some imprints. Look at that. It's amazing! It looks so beautiful. This is the new tool, by the way. We're almost there, guys! In the last video I asked you for some crazy names. I'm more than happy to present some of the new names which you gave the modeling tools. Claim the clay. I think I read this one. One of the most. Clay wand. This is also beautiful. And some of you even asked if they could be customized. Maybe not right at the start, but maybe later. Clay claims tools. Clay claims super awesome clay tools. Yeah, we just threw this into the oven. These are some wooden planks because it makes it way more easy to stick them into the soft clay, the chimney, for example. Putting a milk joke on the tool. Yeah, that would be nice. Banana. The Shaper, Excalibur, Clay Claims Help Us, Doom 3000, Clay Claim Clay Sculpting Tool. Ah, oh, you are so crazy. Amazing ideas. Clay Claws, Sculptinators. <laughs> 
Yeah, we were working on the balcony on the backside um, of the chalet. And these are often hardened pieces. And they will later support the roof, actually. This is why these are, well, important. <laughs> Club tools. Clay Scaliba. <laughs> I, I love this one. Well, we have actually nine tools. It's three different ones, but also three different types of wood. They are all finished, but we still have to put the names onto this, work on the packaging and some legal stuff. Uh, and hopefully at the beginning of January we are ready, but I'll let you know. This is the garage in the front of the chalet. A double garage, comfy one. <laughs> And then we have a lot of different planks and wooden pieces, which makes this chalet really beautiful. The artwork on the wood. The carpenter did a pretty well job here. For the windows, I decided to not go much into detail because we are already on such a small scale. And yeah, I just love the way it looks right now. Looks like a summer hut. <laughs> but we'll put some snow on the roof, don't worry. But we also make sure that the snow doesn't really come inside. We have terracotta and cognac, two different colors for the roof tiles. The bigger roof will be made out of this color, terracotta. And the idea is to create very thin layers of clay, put them on top and later, after oven hardening, we will put on some snow. Yeah, this is the balcony in the front. Probably a pretty good spot to snipe, but well, <laughs> I'm here to do the clay stuff and not to talk about the game. You are way better at this. Maybe we can also bring in some texture on the roof, on the roof tiles. Let's get this into shape first. The terrace is surrounded by these beautiful stone walls and we have um, a pattern on this as well, using the scalpel for this and we put this into the oven. While the chalet is baking in the oven, let's do some definition. What will be the area which will be presented under this acrylic half ball, acrylic glass? I wanted to include the Haley spot, of course. But unfortunately, we will lose this higher spot behind the chalet. Um, you know where it is going downhill to the highway and also to the tunnel. But there was no way to include this as well, unfortunately. The ground layer will be white. And this is the freshly baked chalet. Let's place it onto the snow and making a bed for it with snow, which is just white clay, <laughs> and sometimes not too white. <laughs> but well, we pretend this is snow. In the background, the hills are a little bit higher. In the front, or especially on the left side, where we have the garage and the entrance, the landscape is a little bit lower. Now let's mix a very dirty gray. I threw in some brown and black as well. And this color is perfect for the rocks. We have plenty of these, especially on the left side, where it is going up hills. Also some rocks just in front of the chalet with some pine trees on it. And also on the back side, we have plenty of rocks and they are all snow covered. I'm just adding a little bit of white clay 
so that still the surface of the rocks can be seen from top. In between these cliffs will be the helicopter landing spot later. And this is the task I've been waiting for. <laughs> it's covering the roof with snow. So it is starting to snow right now. And also the circle and the street in the front is covered with snow. But I made the other way around. Instead of covering the street with snow, I decided to just create the parts of the street which still can be seen. And for this it is quite important to make a very dirty and muddy edge of this street. How beautiful. Yeah, in preparation for this tutorial I even thought about going bigger, similar to the Rainbow Six Siege map bank, which I have created so that I could put in some operators as well. Would have been quite funny, but then I started, well, studying the map and I wanted to focus more on the landscape itself and the, the chalet. So I skipped the idea of creating a map where tiny operators would run around. I still have these tiny model figures. <laughs> Instead, I was looking forward to create the vehicles, to create the cars and the helicopter. This is a tiny pile of wood, some trunks and stairs. We also have to make sure to create another stair right here. A little bit covered up with snow. And this is the way everyone is going. I'm using the sculpting tool to make some beautiful imprints in the snow. For the roof we do nearly the same for the windows. They can still be seen through the snow. And there goes another chimney. I think we have three in total. And another a fourth one, a very tiny one. This is copper, copper color, and there goes the biggest chimney. Santa is already looking forward to visit this chalet <laughs> just before he gets shut down. <laughs> <clears throat> Jokes aside, chalet aside, we will work on the cars, on the cars in the front. We have five of these. There is a tiny police car, but we start with the biggest one. These two. No, it's not the biggest one. These are just two FedEx <laughs> transporters <laughs> delivering the last Christmas presents. I'm just kidding. Christmas presents still can come from Santa. Yeah, this is the military truck. I went crazy on the details. It has the size of the... Well, I don't know. It's very tiny. Very, very tiny. <laughs> yeah, these are the mirrors on the car. What about the wheels? Then we have this black car and the white police car. After often hardening, we'll bring in some more details on the cars, so don't worry about this. And we have to, well, look at the gameplay, at the spectator mode, actually, for the helicopter. And also this tracked vehicle and this supporting electrical cable going from the chalet to the high stand, if it is called this way. I'm honestly wondering about this vehicle, why it is standing right there. Okay, when it is snowing a lot and cars are not able to reach, reach through to the chalet, maybe it makes sense to have a vehicle like this to get in some supplies. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. There are some black boxes and we will find many of these also right 
before the chalet on the landing spot of the helicopter. And this landing spot contains two different colors. We have this dark silver, it's an octagon, and another silver, bright silver outline round. After oven hardening, I'll promise we'll bring in this iconic H symbol in the circle. Yeah. I still have no idea how to in integrate this part into the map. Maybe we have to think about another stand underneath and there are also some stairs which we are creating right now. Some black clay for the helicopter itself. I have created a tiny helicopter version. I think it was, yeah, the agency map. It was the agency map and it was one third of this size ridiculously small <laughs> and I even created the rotor blades on this video this is like the back fin on the helicopter if it is called this way this dark silver and this will be the rotor blades and for the landing part <laughs> these ski underneath the helicopter we need a paper clip we cut it in half and stick it to the body of the helicopter perfect it's so tiny look at that yeah another pile of wood which is shattered around in the helicopter landing spot Three different piles and we are ready to go to the oven. Now, while it is still in the oven, we are mixing a very dir dirty green for the pine trees. You can notice that I didn't mix the clay to the end, that we get one color. I still wanted to have this beautiful pattern inside. The idea is to use the scalpel, make some slices and then Pull it apart very carefully to emphasize these cuts and to emphasize the dark shadows within a pine tree. And we can start placing the first trees. In total we have, I don't know, 264. <laughs> you can count if you like. We have some big ones, tiny ones. Still running Rainbow Six Siege on my piece 4 on the left side to count and see where all the trees will go. It's not always 100% accurate, but I spent a decent amount of time while placing these trees. And we will also make a snow-covered version of these trees by painting them with a white pen after oven hardening. A pen which will be suited for underwater. <laughs> so it's not water-based. The biggest one goes right there. We have some plants in the front and this is Sahara for these. And I'm not really sure what I am creating right here. It is disturbing dressed up trees why are they dressed up can please anybody tell me <laughs> it looks so ridiculous trees covered in these suits the power cable yeah, to the high stand which <laughs> we won't create because it's out of the sphere of the equipment ball, so we don't have to worry about this. This is the area we will focus on. Still too much of clay. Let's get it into shape and try it again. This looks better. Ah. <laughs> 
I'm so curious if this will be waterproof. <laughs> if the water will stay inside. I'll do my very best. Let's put this into the oven. And I forgot two important things. The jet ski, snow ski, what are they called? We are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked vehicles and also freshly baked hilly landing spot. And as promised, we'll bring in some white pen and white paint. The first vehicle to glue together. It's a military truck, right? Some transparent polish to pretend we have some windshields here <laughs> and four very big wheels. Gluing to the truck. First one is finished. Let's work on the landing spot and paint this beautiful H onto it. This way you'll create a perfect circle, and there's also some snow on this tiny platform for the stairs. Finally, glue together the helicopter and place it onto the platform. What about the rotor blades? We have five of these. I really hope they stay in this very position. The boxes have silver on the edges probably to support the boxes or to protect them. And this is the police car, the very tiny one. Hmm. I have a very thin pen. Maybe we can even write police onto there. The lights and the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> the black car and the transporters, two of these with their wheels. This is the last one. The forest vehicle with the boxes. And we'll place them in a minute on our tiny map. This is a freshly baked Rainbow Six <laughs> map chalet. And notice that the green got slightly darker after often hardening and now let's bring in some more snow especially on the trees we'll cover up everything with snow and also on the roof and the chimney yeah, already dreaming of a white Christmas in this snowball with this powder curious if the effect will look beautiful or not. <laughs> we have the five cars which will go right there and now the helicopter which will go right in the front with the support underneath the stairs and the wooden piles and now on the back side with this forest vehicle Whoa! What are we doing? We have to create at least one tiny hole where to fill in the water. The snow powder was actually made for these kind of snowballs, so I bought it. Ah, just clipping the water blades. It should fit. Hmm. <laughs> Our hot glue gun finally has its appearance. In sealing this up, we have a tiny gap between the acrylic ball and also the map. And I'm fitting this with hot glue sauce and with a special DIY funnel. <laughs> we'll get in the water. I filtered the water to get it very clear beforehand and we will also fill in 
some chemicals also made for these type of snowballs. Look at that. The chalet is drowning. This substance is water cleaver agent. It's called like that. And it prevents the water from getting cloudy and dull. <laughs> okay, I think we filled this up and I'm undressing for a bigger purpose <laughs> to take away the water. Now this tiny hole is closed. Oh, I'm so curious. I can't wait to see the water, the, the snowfall effect. And hopefully we don't have any type of leak. Oh, it looks so beautiful! Guys, that's it! Charlie from Rainbow Six Siege and this beautiful snowball! Did I miss any parts? Let me know, write it down in the comments. It's still leaking and I'm really glad it made it through the video. <laughs> Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. See you next week. Bye. Let it snow, let it snow. <laughs>